cataractcoach.com. So one of my residents asked me, they said, Professor, how come you tend to use this 2.75 incision and the purple phaco sleeve instead of using a 2.2 incision and the pink phaco sleeve? And the answer is actually quite simple. Most of your cataract patients have what kind of astigmatism? Against the rule, steep at 180. And where am I placing my phaco incision? At 180. So there's actually a benefit of having a large incision at 180 in most cases. Look now though, I'm only making a 2.2 incision in this patient. So here's a patient with virtually no astigmatism. And so we wanna make as small of an incision as possible. So we can still do our routine surgery, use the same instruments, the same caps, rexus, forceps, through a 2.2 incision, incision instead of a 2.75 or 2.8 incision. I can do the same surgery with very little changes. The only appreciable change is for the fluidics, I'll have to decrease the flow setting because the smaller sleeve doesn't allow as much fluid in the eye. And the second thing I'll have to do is we'll have to use the wound assist technique to get the eye well inside the eye. So we're doing some hydrodissection here. Otherwise, we're going to use basically everything the same. Same phaco settings, same power, same vacuum, just lower flow. So we've dropped our normal flow from 50 or 60 cc's a minute to about 40 cc's a minute. There's the phaco probe with the pink sleeve buzzing in the center of the nucleus, digging in the chopper, boom, we've got two halves. Now we can fully separate those two halves, bring that one half up, and we can emulsify it, or if need be, we can further sub-chop it. So certainly you can do phaco surgery through smaller incisions. In fact, one company tried to popularize 1.8 millimeter phaco surgery. There have been some prominent surgeons who've advocated for one millimeter, even sub one millimeter phaco surgery. But I think we've all figured out that there's a balance. The tinier incisions have much less flow. Remember Poisson's equation, how the flow varies in respect to the size of the tubing. And so if we have a very small tubing here, very small bore, it flows little, very little fluid. So I think that's why most of us have settled somewhere in the 2 range, 2.2, 2.4, 2.6, 2.8 millimeters wide. Those are the typical types of phaco incisions. So here we go, we're moving the very last piece of the cataract material. And again, for patients who have, against the rule of stigmatism, steep at about the 180 degree meridian, the slightly larger incision actually helps their astigmatism. IA probe going in the eye, again with the pink sleeve, so it'll go through the smaller incision. The rest of the instrument is the same, the only thing that's changed is that silicone sleeve. For this machine, the purple is slightly larger, about 2728 incision, and this pink one, which is translucent, is about a 2.2, or depending, 2.4 millimeter incision. So we're moving the rest of the cortex, and as you can see, even with this lower flow setting, we're still very efficient for the surgery. Looks like we'll complete the whole surgery in just about five and a half minutes. So cleaning up the last bit of cortex, do a little polish in the posterior capsule, clean up the undersurface of the anterior capsular rim, and that looks really beautiful. And in this case, we're going to put in a single piece acrylic lens, and we're going to do a wound assist type procedure. We can get the tip of the, the lens injector a little bit in the incision, but not nearly as much as we could with the larger incision. So there's filling the capsular bag. There's the capsular rexus. Looks pretty good. Again, notice how the capsular rexus is centered on the visual axis. And here we go. Actually, we got the whole tip inside. This is a Monarch D cartridge, D like dog. That means it's very tiny. And it can actually go inside that smaller 2.2 or 2.4 millimeter incision. So centering up the lens here, letting the haptics unfold. And this looks like a pretty good case. So yeah, I'd encourage you to try all the above. Try the 1.8, try the 2.2, the 2.4, the 2.6, the 2.8. Try them all and you tell me with your typical patient and your technique of surgery, what works best in your hands. And for me, I'm happy to do anything that serves the patient uh, the best because the majority of our cataract patients have 
uh, steep axis at 180 or against the rule of stigmatism, I tend to prefer a 275 or 28 incision. And if I need to, like in this case, or perhaps in a case with prior RK where there's less room to place the incisions, I'll certainly use a 2.2, 2.4, or even smaller fake incision. Whatever it takes to give the patient the very best outcome. And I encourage you to be able to do the same thing for your patients. Thank you guys for watching. We sincerely appreciate it.